Hey everybody, it's John from The Lucky Needle and today I'm working on a project and I wanted to show you how I go about doing hems really fast and without going through marking any of your fabric and without using any basting tape to hold it in place or anything like that for you. It's really easy. I want to show you this quick tip that I have for you guys. Hey everyone, so as you can see, I'm still waiting for some progress on the shop to get built. So I'm stuck in this small little space that I have here and confined to kind of some small jobs. But I've got a project today that I've been working on for a customer of mine. We're making some industrial table covers for them. And uh, one of the things I wanted to show you guys today is how I go about doing hems really fast. I don't mark anything out. I don't use any basting tape. It's going to save you a lot of time on things like this where it's a little bit, uh, the precision isn't quite as important as say if you're working on like a high end car interior or something. So I wouldn't recommend this for super precise things, but for this, it's going to save you a ton of time and you'll see how fast it actually works. So come on over here to the machine with me and I'll show you guys how I do it. So basically, when I first started out, I kind of figured out this trick because I was really tired of, you know, marking out a one inch line on all of my really long pieces that needed to get hemmed. And then, you know, then, cause that line, it'll show you where you, know, you need to fold it over. But what I figured out is that most machines, the foot is actually just almost a half of an inch. So it's like perfect alignment for your hems. So instead of marking out the actual line on the fabric or using basting tape to stick it down, what I do is I just add an extra half of an inch to the size of the piece that I want, same like you would for your seam allowance. And what I do is when I'm sewing it, I fold it over just like this and I line up the fold on the edge of the foot right here like that and then I try to get the fold to meet up with the other end of this foot right here so you can see how it's you've got a perfect half inch hem right there without having to mark out anything so as I'm sewing all I'm gonna do is just continually keeping it at a half of an inch, you know, lined up with the two edges of the feet and it makes a really nice hem and your stitch is consistent and it's really fast. You'll see what I'm talking about here. All right, so I've got an even longer piece here now that I'm gonna do. And when I, another trick that I try to do when I'm sewing these really long pieces is I'll try and kind of fold them up on my lap like this so that as I'm, as I'm sewing it, it just continues to feed right off of my lap and then you're not fighting the fabric underneath the table or anything like that. So I'm just gonna do the exact same thing again and we're gonna do this seam, we're going to do this uh, hem as fast as possible while still making it look really nice.
All right, so I'm gonna continue on and finish up this project, but I hope you guys really enjoyed that time-saving little trick right there for hems, and I hope it helps you. If you guys are interested in learning even more in-depth upholstery stuff, make sure you check out our website, theluckyneedle.com, where we have in-depth upholstery training courses. You can check them out right here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video.